Yep. Uh, um, my documentary treatment is about youth subcultures. Um, I'll be investigating how people act differently to the way they're dressed. So like, if I was hooded up like this, would you find me intimidating? Or which way, how would you find that? And if I was dressed differently, like more formally, with like, thank you, like more formally like this, then you would find me less intimidating because I'm not hooded up or I'm not dressed to like intimidate anyone. Um, I'll be f providing that, that to the audience what the way people react and like giving them information about how this happens and why this happens and about how their body reacts to um, like a person who is hooded up and fucked out or like to the way they are dressed. I'll be challenging people about um, youth subcultures and how they find it intimidating. Like, um, if someone was walking towards me, then I'll find like your body, your whole body structure can changes. So like, if you're more relaxed and then you're more uptight. And then that the last bit is I'll be exploring if the youth subcultures um, challenged by the police, like this, like focus on a main certain youth subculture. Um, the next part, I'll be focusing on like how the way people are dressed and how they change the way. So like, um, if an emo would like scratch their arms or whatever, like stuff like that, would that change people how they react to them, thinking they're mental or stuff like that? Um, and the next topic being focused on about youth subcultures and how people are being intimidated on to like other people around you and yourself how they change. The um, UPS, USP, sorry, um, has mainly focused on like the way people are dressed again, intimidating, and like how it'd be more unique to like the whole of my target audience because it will be giving them information on why people react differently towards when and how they change. Um, do you think people change to, like, to the way they react? Like, do you think that, like, if I was dressed, if the way you're dressed, do you think you change the way do you react that like, you are dressed? Yeah. Why do you think that? Because, um, like you said earlier, we flip when you had your jacket on. If someone came uh, was approaching me in the same direc direction as I was going, I think and maybe he might like come up to me and say something. Mm -hmm. And do you have? Do you think like the media have different like have a big impact on what they think about youth subcultures? So like, um, if like a certain youth subculture which was hooded up like a gang would um, say, oh, this is, um, and like, emos don't have a big, they're not very big, so that like, they're bad-minding um, emos, no, or they're bad-minding like, gangsters, and saying that they're this and that, that cause knife crime and basically stuff like that. Um, I think, do you think everyone will fall into a certain new subculture at the end? Like, you don't think so? Do you? I see you not there. Why don't you think so? Yeah, but if, um, if, I think, personally, I think everyone will fall into a certain category, like, after a while, because this is basically saying, if you um, dress differently, you don't dress differently, you dress with, like, what's going on with fashion, like, um, like, Ralph Lauren, I've got loads of it on now, so, like, it's more casual, if you know what I'm saying, so, I, personally, I think that's my idea. Um, the structure of running order, running order will be like to make the contributors stand out more, so that like, they will be more appealing to that like, the target audience, so they're more drawn in. Um, the target audience that I want to be have was more like a young, well, middle aged, like obviously, obviously been in between the age bracket, but mainly focusing with out whole and like how it brings in all the whole audience. Like, um, 
how ex experts you are on both sides of the story, so like a fashion designer and like a policeman. So like the policeman would um, show me like why they focus on these people and the fashion designer would tell me why people change to the way they're dressed. Um, I will not reconstruct to mislead, well, to mislead target audience because this would give them, this would be telling them what to do and what they, what they think. I don't think that's right because it's, it's their own view what they think about it. So like if um, I told someone to like read this and then like if it says like whole of list of information that they should stand by, I don't think that's a good idea for them to like to pick up. Um, the first Vox Pop would be Vox Pops to see what everyone knows about youth subcultures, like every um, every ethnicity, gender, and all of that stuff. Like, so this is like the question I would ask them is, do you know anything about youth subcultures, basically? So this would ask them, and um, this will tell me what they know and what I can tell them. So like, give them information on youth subcultures and how it changes, makes people change the way they are dressed. Um, the second one would be telling the audience what youth subcultures are, which would answer the first question, which I intended to do. Um, the, inter the interview with the policeman will ask them mainly what they are focusing on in like, when they are looking for criminals or stuff like that. So if I was um, sitting on the end of the corner or of a road with my hood on, and would they come to me because I've looked, looked suspicious? Or if I was looking smart, but sitting on the end of the road, would they come to me or not come to me? Um, I would ask them with rhetorical questions to keep their mind, like the audience mind thinking. So I would ask them, um, so what would happen if, you sub if we did not have new subcultures? Would it be like people living by themselves or like being them by themselves, like individuals, like dressing differently, acting differently? Would it, what would the world be like? Um, I'll be making, like, showing my point, like, again, what I just showed you. Um, I'll be making it humorous and, like, seeing the way people react about me. So, like, I'll go around the store and, like, record it if I can get permission for that. And then record it so then they know what the guards, security guards look like. Look, look, not look like, what they react to the way you are dressed. So if I was dressed like Fuggy, would he follow me around the shop? If I was dressed smart, would he still follow me around the shop? What's, what's the difference between that? Um, the, I'll be getting people's opinions to like see what they feel about how they are dressed. So like, if um, if I was if someone like was dressed fuggy and how they feel, why they dress like that? And like how they feel when they are dressed like that? Do they feel anything different, or do they feel anything? like smart or do you know what 